Hello and welcome back to my next tutorial on uh, Premiere Pro. So in this tutorial I am going to do some uh, titles and credits. I'm going to do titles and credits. Just a basic title title card in um, Premiere Pro and a little basic title sequence. Cool. So let's say we've got our video and we've got all our shots in here and it's all looking good. Yeah, oh yeah, it's looking great, awesome. So we're ready to um, do some titles and credits. We've done all our color correcting, everything's looking great, so we're ready to move on. So in one of the other, uh, uh, that earlier tutorials, we learned about uh, the title cards. So just as a rule of thumb, uh, we can put a title card over a piece of footage like that, but we can also put it over, if we want it to be over a blank piece of, a blank screen, we can put it over a blank blank screen just by putting it over um, nothing basically so there's nothing underneath it so I'm just going to just control Z that so let's start with the title card so there's a few ways we can do a title card for our, um, our sequence or project or whatever so we grab the type tool and we can just type in some stuff I'll turn on the title save button or the save margins button go okay I'm going to draw now you can draw a square if you want um, for typing in text or you can just type in something. Uh, so generally for this type of, or for all projects uh, at UB or at here, um, we put out a title card which has our name. So name, well, that's pretty big. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Just select that. Um, and why is it red? Did I make that red? Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Okay, so I'm just going to make that uh, a little bit smaller. I'm going to change the color because red is definitely a no, no. And the font, I don't like that font, so I'm going to use my custom font that I installed. Um, actually, it's probably a little bit over the top for this. Um, something a little bit more normal. Okay, uh, we'll go for done. It's fairly normal. Okay, so name um, and Dickens project. So normally we put in the following information: project um, cityscape or shot types uh, duration. It. Uh, what else do we put in there? Uh, well, we, used, we usually put in the um, shot to name, project, duration, or oh, we put in the class as well, uh, whatever the name of our class code is, which is 23. Uh, oh, what is our class code? Oh, let me just check that. It, it is. Our class code is 230. Here it is. Whoops. 2303 uh, wgn.fcc.a. So 23, which is this year, and third month is when we start in Wellington, and then the FCC for film and content creation, and the A class. Uh, I'd probably actually put that, uh, I'd probably put that, control X that one, and copy and paste that one, uh, and probably put it after my name, so project shot types, duration, some other relevant or useful information. We can put it in the aspect ratio. Or just aspect which is 1920 by 1080 uh, and that's probably probably all we need so um, there we go so name class project duration uh, aspect there we go so we can turn that off and there's our title card that's a basic title card um, so we can go here we go there's our title card 
probably needs to be on screen for a bit longer than that. I'd say at least five seconds. Um, so we'll just go five seconds. Five seconds, which is about there. Uh, with no with no music, so I'm just going to use the uh, track select forward tool and select all my text. There we go. So five seconds, so we can read it. You know, that's what it's there for to identify. Um, so there we go. That is a basic title card. Uh, another way we can do this is we can go file new and this is a more standard sort of way that um, has been done in the film and TV industry for years so it's good practice uh, and we could go bars and tone and it comes up with this here new bars and tone and we can go okay cool and that creates a bars and tone pattern um, which is a, an old school TV thing um, and we can put that over the back as the background and that will also give us um, the beep the beep sound, um, which you may have heard before, and the beep is basically a standard um, that has been in TV for, for a, a long time, so it's really good practice to use the bars and tone for your title cut. Uh, the reason why it beeps is because it gives us a flat um, reading of, of uh, what our audio level should be, so they should be at minus 12. Right, so all of your audio should be should be round about minus twelve, which is what this beep is at. So that's what it's for. So you can hear the beep, and then you could go, okay, well, if my one's really quiet, then I need to turn it up. So that's that's what the beep's for. Uh, and the, the bars, the color bars in the back are an old school thing for um, calibrating the monitors to the, the color. I think um, so yeah yeah so there we go so that's the bars and tone now the thing with the bars and tone is, is if you don't have anything on your text it can be a little bit hard to read it so you can always go and put in a little bit of a black background um, so go file new uh, black video or a color mat um, either or really well we could, let's go color mat or go black video um, we can put that over the over our uh, we can put that over our bars and tone and that will get rid of the bars and tone but then what I'll do is I will just move the position of it down a little bit um, like that so it sort of covers half of it um, and then I'll click on my text and I'll go okay well now I'm going to move my text down Maybe make my text a little bit smaller so I can read it. And that's a fairly standard sort of um, title card for most projects. Cool. And then if you've got like a your film starting, so after after your title card that's just to identify your video so title card and then if you wanted to have if you're doing like a short film and you wanted to have like a, a proper title card with you know like the names of the actors and the name of the film and some sort of fancy animation you would have that after this title card so this title card is just to identify the project cool and then we always do credits on everything we make uh, so you can do credits a number of different ways you can make them as simple or as complicated as you want I'm just going to show you guys a, a simple way to do it um, so we can have something like that at the end where it's just a black screen with the text over the top of it and that's fine you know we can have that at the end and that's um, that, that would be fine where it says uh, directed by camera by edited by filmed in etc etc um, or we could go to File, New, and we could go to, I'm going to show you guys a bit of an old school uh, way of doing a rolling title credit, or rolling credit sequence. And this is something that I've used on a lot of films. Uh, this one's called a legacy title. It's a legacy because it's a, uh, it's not a, a standard feature anymore. But it's still pretty cool, I reckon. 
Um, so uh, click on that. So file, and it's under oops, file, new legacy title, um, and go to OK. And it brings up this thing here, which is the old uh, way of doing um, credits in Premiere Pro. And it's got a bunch of tools here, uh, which are all very similar to the ones that I've shown you guys. Um, and I'm just going to grab the type tool and I'm just going to type in something. So, directed by me. Now the director is always at the top. Um, producer produced by Actually, the starring is usually the first thing, so starring is starring. Well, the actor is usually gone first. Starring, if we know the film hierarchy, um, anyway. Starring, Jim. Okay, so we got a bunch of credits there. Um, this is a bit of an old school way, but I still think it's pretty cool. I hate that font, but I'm just going to leave it in for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay, so then we've got uh, we've got a whole bunch of controls here that we can we can um, change. So things like the, the size of the text and that, um, and opacity and blah blah blah. Uh, but if we click this little tiny little button here, uh, and go it comes up with this. We go roll crawl options, and we can click on we can get it to crawl in from the left or crawl in from the right. But traditionally in films, you know, they always go from top to bottom. So we go roll, and then we click on start off screen, end off screen, and go OK. And then if we close that, um, it will appear over here. And if we drag it onto the screen, um, you'll get a rolling credit sequence. There we go. And if you want it to go slower, you just make it longer. There we go. So that's a bit of an old school rolling credits uh, sequence and how to make one. Now in Premiere Pro we've also got the graphics, um, the graphics uh, window layout that we can click on. Um, so this is no longer here on the latest version. So I'm just going to go to Windows Graph uh, Workspaces Graphics, um, and so there's a bunch of graphics templates that you can use here as well uh, for stuff like rolling credits um, and you basically just drag these in and you can change them up. I don't know how these work uh, I don't use these as much but um, I mean it's pretty self-explanatory you click in there and you can change the text I don't know what you would use that for actually I'm just gonna go um, control Z to go out of there and go back to browse and there's a bunch of graphics templates that you can use um, angled lower third let's have a look now all of these are, are sort of CPU heavy so you have to render them out once you make any changes the controls to them appear up here um, And that looks like the glow, that's the turn off easier. So that's all the effects there. And if you want to change the whatever thing here, click on it and go. Here we go. Now, if you use a lot of these, uh, it's probably going to start to slow down the computer. So, as I said in one of the other tutorials, you will have to push enter on the keyboard to render out the frames and watch it. Um, I'm just going to push stop there and we'll have a couple look at a couple more uh, tutorials. There's a bars and tone one. Uh, can you preview these? I don't think you can. Um, there's a whole, oh, there we go. That's what we just made. Yep, 
So that's basically the same as what we just made, but it's yeah, got even more details in there. So project client date version. So yeah, it's a more detailed version of, of the one that we made without the beep. Um, so yeah, those are there for you guys to use if you want to use them. Some of them are a bit corny, um, so it depends what you're using them for. Um, but yeah, and that's the end of my tutorial on titles, credits, and graphics.